An intrauterine device, or ID, works by creating a small but steady change inside the uterus that makes pregnancy unlikely. To understand how it works, imagine the uterus as a soft, muscular space that prepares itself each month to possibly support a fertilized egg. Normally, the lining of the uterus thickens. The cervix produces certain types of mucus, and sperm travel upward through the reproductive tract. An IUD sits inside this environment and gently shifts several of these conditions in ways that prevent fertilization or prevent a fertilized egg from settling in the uterine lining. There are two main types of IUD, copper IUD and hormonal IUD. Both sit inside the uterus in the same general position, but they work in slightly different ways. Despite their differences, both types share the same overall purpose, to make the uterus a place where sperm cannot function well and where a pregnancy is very unlikely to begin. Once an IUD is inserted, it rests in the uterine cavity. Most are shaped like a small, flexible T. The top arms of the T gently press outward, helping the device stay in place while the vertical part extends downward toward the cervix. A thin pair of strings hangs through the opening of the cervix into the upper vagina so that the user or a healthcare provider can check or remove the device when needed. These strings do not interfere with daily life. They simply provide a way to locate the IUD. A copper IUD releases tiny amounts of copper ions into the surrounding uterine fluid. Copper ions are naturally hostile to sperm. They interfere with the way sperm move and make it harder for them to swim through the uterus toward the fallopian tubes, where fertilization usually occurs. When copper is present, sperm become less active, less capable of reaching the egg, and less able to fertilize it. The copper also creates a local immune response inside the uterus. This immune response is not harmful to the person wearing the device, but it does create an environment in which sperm cannot survive well. Certain cells of the immune system, called white blood cells, move into the area and help remove sperm before they can travel far. Because of this combination of reduced sperm movement and increased immune activity, fertilization becomes very unlikely. A hormonal IUD works slightly differently. Instead of copper, it releases a small, steady amount of a hormone called progestin. Progestin is a synthetic form of a hormone the body naturally makes. One of the most important actions of progestin in an IUD is thickening the mucus at the cervix. Normally, cervical mucus changes throughout the menstrual cycle, sometimes becoming thin and slippery to help sperm move upward. Under the influence of progestin, the mucus becomes thicker, stickier, and more difficult for sperm to penetrate. This single effect reduces the number of sperm that can enter the uterus in the first place. Inside the uterus, the hormonal IUD also changes the environment in a way that makes it harder for sperm to function. The lining of the uterus, called the endometrium, becomes thinner. In a typical menstrual cycle, this lining grows thicker to prepare for a possible pregnancy. With a hormonal IUD, progestin keeps the lining thinner and less receptive. This makes the uterus less ready for a fertilized egg, adding another layer of protection. In some people, the hormonal IUD also stops or reduces ovulation, the release of an egg from the ovary. This effect varies, but even when ovulation continues normally, the cervical mucus and the changes inside the uterus still provide strong contraception. Inside the body, the presence of the IUD itself also contributes to how it works. The uterus responds to the device as a foreign object, which triggers a gentle, controlled immune reaction. This reaction does not produce symptoms for most people, but it does make the uterine environment less friendly to sperm. This reaction occurs with both copper and hormonal IUD, although it plays a larger role in the effectiveness of the copper type. When a person with an IUD has intercourse, sperm travel into the vagina as they normally would. But once they reach the cervical mucus, they interact with an environment that has been changed by the device. In the case of a copper IUD, sperm face copper ions and an immune response that weakens their movement. In the case of a hormonal IUD, sperm encounter a thickened, less penetrable cervical mucus barrier. Fewer sperm pass through the cervix, and those that do may not remain active long enough to reach the egg. If ovulation occurs and an egg travels down the fallopian tube, it typically remains there for about a day, waiting to encounter sperm. With an IUD in place, the chances that healthy, active sperm reach the egg are extremely low. 
By the time sperm travel through the uterus and reach the fallopian tubes, many of them are no longer capable of fertilization. Without fertilization, pregnancy cannot begin. Even if fertilization were to happen, which is rare, the changes created by the IUD inside the uterus make it difficult for a fertilized egg to attach to the uterine lining. A thick, well-developed lining is usually needed for successful implantation. Because both types of IUD interfere with the normal development of this lining, they provide an additional barrier to pregnancy. Over time, the body adapts to the presence of the IUD. Some people experience cramping, irregular bleeding, or spotting soon after insertion, and these effects often improve as the uterus becomes more accustomed to the device. With copper IUD, menstrual periods may become heavier or more crampy in the first months. With hormonal IUD, periods typically become lighter, and some people stop having periods entirely because the uterine lining becomes very thin. This does not harm fertility and usually reverses after the device is removed. The IUD stays in place until it is removed by a health care provider. Removal involves gently pulling the strings, causing the arms of the device to fold upward as it slides out. Fertility usually returns quickly after removal because the uterus and cervix return to their natural hormonal and physical environment. An IUD does not protect against sexually transmitted infections because it works inside the uterus rather than preventing fluid exchange. Its purpose is contraception, and it accomplishes this by quietly influencing the internal biology of the reproductive system. Once inserted, it remains effective for several years, depending on the type. The copper IUD can last a decade or more, while hormonal IUD generally lasts between three and eight years, depending on the specific device. Throughout its time inside the body, the IUD does not travel to other organs. The uterus is a strong muscular structure and the device stays inside its cavity. Even though the uterus moves and changes shape during daily activities, the IUD stays in position because of its design and the natural tension of the uterine walls. In simple terms, an IUD works by making the path to pregnancy more difficult at every step. It affects sperm before they can reach the egg, affects the uterus so that it does not prepare itself for pregnancy as readily, and in some cases affects the release of eggs from the ovaries. By gently but consistently shaping the internal environment, an IUD provides long, lasting contraception without requiring daily attention. Inside the body, this process is quiet. You cannot feel the device once it is in place, and it does not interfere with movement, exercise, or intimacy. Its action is local meaning it mostly affects the uterus and cervix rather than the whole body. This local effect is one reason many people choose the IUD. It works continuously in the background, allowing the reproductive system to function normally in most ways while preventing pregnancy with high effectiveness. Over months and years, the device continues to release copper ions or progestin at a steady rate, maintaining the same protective environment, when the time comes to remove it, the uterus rapidly shifts back to its usual cycle. The cervical mucus thins, the uterine lining regrows, and sperm can once again travel normally. The reproductive system resumes its natural patterns, and the ability to become pregnant returns. In this way, an IUD provides a long, lasting, reversible, and reliable method of contraception by simply shaping the internal environment of the uterus in ways that make the natural steps toward pregnancy unlikely.